don't come for Jeffree Star unless your proof is ironclad and your receipts are bulletproof. Hey guys, so we're going to be talking about the Thomas Halbert, Jeffree Star, Nikki Tutorials, Manny MUA, and everybody else, Gabriel Zamora situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a few days ago, Thomas Halbert made a video talking about how basically he insinuated that he went to Jeffree Star's house and they were talking and trying to squash their beef and whatnot because Thomas Halbert has made it very, very clear and he's been very vocal in recent years that he just does not like Jeffree Star and he has actually said in like snaps and whatnot, I do not like this man. He has said that. And he was basically going over there to squash the beef and blah, blah, blah. And apparently when they were talking about the whole racist past that Jeffree Star has, Jeffree Star apparently allegedly said that how, well, everybody said the N word, but he actually said the N word in that sentence. And he said it with an A, not an ER, not that it makes it any different or makes it any better or worse. It, like, it just shouldn't have been coming out of his mouth. But these are allegations. We don't know that for certain because there's no receipts. He then went on to basically say, you know, he has been enabling by staying silent, like the racism that's going on in the beauty industry. And like, for example, when Jeffree Star was called out for calling Jackie Ina a gorilla in David Scissorhands' texts, like none of the white beauty influencers said like you know that's wrong it's out of order blah 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 and he kind of feels like that's enabling when white youtubers don't kind of stand up for black youtubers and i understand what he's trying to say he was like you know i've done my own fair share of you know not helping the situation and he has to recognize his own like wrongdoings almost but the way he put it was almost as if to say that not that he's necessarily said anything he was basically saying he just has not, like he, he needs to recognize where he has faltered. So I was kind of like, you know what? Putting aside what he just said about Jeffrey, because we don't know that these are allegations, we don't know whether or not these things are true. But putting that aside, it's like, I am feeling the message. I'm understanding and I'm feeling the message that, you know what? He is being vocal and he is saying, you know, we need to stand up for, you know, black people. We also need to like shame, like put to shame when people are being racist and things like this. Like we need to be, you know, we need to be vocal on where we stand. and. Obviously, this is not all verbatim. I'm just like um, freestyling what he said <laughs> kind of thing. So I was kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling what he's saying, especially as in the past, he has been very vocal about not being here for racist people like Jeffrey. You know, he's just not feeling it. So it was very easy for me to say, you know what, I hear what you're saying and I can, I believe you. Then Thomas Howard then makes a tweet saying that he wasn't trying to expose Jeffree Star. And I was just kind of like, bruh, if you weren't trying to expose Jeffree Star, then you shouldn't have mentioned Jeffree Star and that whole scenario. So even though I'm here for the message of, you know, we need to stand up for, you know, black people kind of thing and all of that. Like you was trying to expose Jeffree Star because if you wasn't trying to expose him, why bother say, why come through with all of that that you were just saying? Like, if I'm not trying to expose you, I'm not gonna say anything. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? So let's just like cut the crap. You was trying to expose him, that's why you, that's why you went through that whole spiel about I went to his house and we're talking about this and we're talking about that and then he went into this and he said that and then his hairstylist said this and that and, yeah. and it's like come on yeah, yes she was trying to expose him stop it okay stop it let's just call a spade a spade um Jeffree Star then said like he made a tweet basically saying you know what I'm basically he's tired of people coming for him and he feels like well can I now stand up for myself. Jeffrey, you've been standing up for yourself since day one. Let's not act like you've just been silent. But I understand what he was trying to say. It's like people kind of um, have an issue with him when he tries to stand up for himself, which isn't right. Like even if he is a racist, he still has the right to defend himself because I feel like everybody has the right to defend themselves. If me and you had an argument and I'm saying, well, this person said this, 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 and this, you have every right to turn around and say, yeah, I said it. No, I didn't. Or I said it because you're allowed to defend 
your own honor when people scrutinize him for defending himself it's wrong i feel personally but he is responsible for what comes out of his mouth when he is defending himself but anyway so he went on to say that he wouldn't say the n-word in front of thomas especially considering his past and it's like what do you mean you wouldn't say it around him and that's what somebody tweeted back to him that like, what do you mean you wouldn't say it around him shouldn't you be saying you don't say that word in general and then he tweeted well i don't say that word in general he kind of like had to check himself because somebody kind of checked him and made him realize that that just didn't sound right does that make sense so that already kind of made me go hmm, hmm. okay then people started wondering why would thomas be promoting jeffree star's blood sugar palette in one of his recent videos if all of this happened at Jeffree Star's house and you were so disturbed when you left and blah, blah, blah. You wouldn't be promoting it. You'd be like, no, F this guy. I'm not doing that. I'm not cool with it. I'm not cool with him. You know what I'm saying? It's like he promoted it in the video that he did with Tati and then he did, was it two videos or was it one? I know that one of the videos was when he did a video with Tati. So it's kind of like, why are you promoting his stuff? if he said the n-word and you were so disturbed. See, this is where things are starting to not make sense. <laughs> and then Jeffree Star start, started to show texts of Thomas Halbert about repeating things that was told to Thomas in confidence. So Jeffree Star told Thomas some stuff while he was at his house and he went back and repeated it to Manny to hurt him because apparently he was told by Jeffree that how Manny was trying to like destroy his career and blah, blah, blah and stop his bags as they call it. And it's kind of like, well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really know what to say about that but Thomas was kind of like really apologetic he did say that he was you know that he acted immaturely and that he should never have done what he did and blah 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 and it's like okay I don't know what he said as such or was it just the fact that not just the fact but was it was there more to it than oh he tried to stop you from making money or was it only that oh yeah by the way Manny tried to stop you from making money by going around to brands and saying you know don't don't work with this guy and blah 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 I don't know but one thing that did kind of like hit me is the fact that in the text Thomas said you know it really hurt me when Manny was trying to was trying to um, destroy my career because he's someone that I looked up to for so long and you know he was just trying to destroy me for absolutely no reason and it's kind of like yeah but you've just done basically the same thing to Jeffrey because you have taken you've tried to make him look away to Manny for no reason come si come sa anywho then Thomas also sent a voice note and literally at the end of every single sentence he was saying I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know it's like no you do know you do know you do know it's like at the end of almost every sentence he was saying I don't know and it just kind of got really annoying and jarring to listen to that voice no but I find it so funny that Jeffrey has absolutely no filter when it comes to exposing people he's going to expose and expose and expose but when it comes to other people trying to expose him and they everyone seems to have a very difficult time now obviously in the voice note we can tell that that's Thomas's voice and you can see that it's part of the thread of messages that he has previously um, exposed. So it's fair to say that the thread of text messages is legit because it's part of the thread which has the voice note on it, which is definitely Thomas's voice. <sighs> like Thomas, you're not looking good right now. I'm so sorry. <sighs> then he showed a text message from one of Thomas's old friends where he apparently used the n-word and at first I was like you know what is this a real text I'm not too sure there was like a screen like a, a screen recording where the person kind of proved that it was a genuine that, that it was actually him but I was just kind of like I'm still not 100% sure so I'm still I'm gonna have to say allegedly so uh we're still waiting for him to comment on that but if he did say it's kind of like you know what no he did actually say no let's get we'll get to that we'll get to that we don't know whether or not this particular text message is legit or i don't know whether or not it's legit even though we've seen this screen recording there are still ways to doctor things so i'm not going to say for certain that this is like genuine because i don't know 
So then Gabriel does a Snapchat where he basically says that, you know, one of the things during his relationship with, or his friendship, sorry, with Manny and Laura was one of the things that came up during his friendship with Manny and Laura was this whole mess the buckle between like basically when Jeffrey and Thomas were at, were at Jeffrey's house Jeffrey did say that Thomas was basically texting Manny and Laura from his couch disrespectful disrespectful okay disrespectful that's what makes me feel like he did never he never went there with good intentions to sort out the problem and you're not gonna here's the thing I know that you guys know how I feel about Jeffrey I don't like the guy but I have to be fair I have to be fair and call a spade a spade I can't sit here and you know try and fight in someone's corner when I can say that when I can see that they're wrong so he was texting from his couch I feel like that's so disrespectful but he was texting them and Gabriel was basically like you know why are you lot messing with this guy like he's messy and they even said you know he is messy but apparently Manny wanted to know what the tea was and that was the only reason why he continued to have a conversation with him and and it just kind of didn't sit well with Gabriel Zamora the one the one thing about Gabriel Zamora yeah even though I don't always necessarily stand by everything that he says, I've got to say that when he speaks, he just speaks from the heart. He just says it how it is. He's not here rehearsing nothing. He's not here, you know, trying to make things look good or sprinkle some sugar on top to make it taste better going down. He just calls it how he sees it. He's not, he's not watering nothing down for nobody's enjoyment, okay? He's just calling it how he sees it. And he was basically like, this guy's a mess. You keep on saying that he's a mess. I don't get a good feeling about him, but yet you're saying that you want to get tea on Jeffrey because he's somebody that you don't like and that's the only reason why you're really entertaining it so is that not shady as well that's how I feel I feel like that's a bit shady personally now and when he was doing like a little backwards and forwards with with Manny he said that apparently Jeffrey has a video on Laura calling Nikki tutorials a fat whale and apparently has a video of Nikki tutorials using the n-word and thinking about this going back when the whole Nikki Jeffrey star fallout happened there was a snap that he made and Jeffrey was basically saying the reason why people don't say anything is because they know I've got so much on them and I remember just kind of feeling like you know what that is that's actually quite creepy because it's like so do you sit around do you like go and gather info on people do you like whenever some people mess up you hold on to it you hold on to the evidence and that feels like that's exactly what has happened here now of course Nikki Tutorials has come out and said listen I never said this and Nikki Tutorials never says anything about any of these things she always keeps her mouth Lows, no matter what but she did say I have to say something about this because you're not gonna come out here and make me look like I'm a racist because I never said nothing about none of this that you're trying to say that I said like I never did it and Jeffree Star basically said Nikki Tutorials and I we do like we're not on the same page but she never said the n-word while he was around her during their friendship so for Jeffree Star to come out and say that it kind of makes me feel like where did Thomas get this from or was he just making up stuff to upset Manny although if I have a look at Manny's responses in those messages because these this was these were messages that I think that Thomas had released Manny's response was can you remember anything in particular that he said that I said or that he has on me kind of thing and it was kind of like so what have you been saying what have you been doing what is going on like and what was also so funny is the fact that he was like do you remember anything in particular that he said that he has on me because I do wish him the best and I still wish him the best like I'm always gonna wish him the best kind of thing and it's like bro you're 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 reaching you're like you're overcompensating for something you are overcompensating for something so I don't know whether or not Thomas was just saying that so that he can try and get something from Manny so he can expose Manny because there was a message that he had sent to Jeffrey 
when Jeffrey was leaking his text messages between him and Thomas, where he was like, I want to talk about Manny and I want to expose him. So I feel like maybe him saying these things about, oh, he caught Laura saying this and he caught um, Nikki saying that was probably just a way in order to try and extract some kind of information from Manny. That's what I'm thinking because Jeffrey and Nikki who are not on the same page, they're not friends, they're both swearing blind that it never happened and Nikki never said any racial slurs at all. <laughs> this is some craziness. It really is some craziness. <sighs> Someone said, um, we don't want or need Thomas to be our champion. We don't need anybody to be our champion. We don't need anybody to be our hero. It's nice to have allies. And I feel, I feel like in 2018, are we still really doing this whole racism foolishness? Like really? It's crazy to me. But I don't feel like we need to have a champion. We just need people to act normal. And at the end of the day, when people say, I don't see color, that's actually quite disturbing. We're like, no, please do see color because we're all different. And it's okay to be different. It's okay to recognize that I'm mixed race and you're white and you're black and you're Asian and you're this and like it's it's fine to recognize and celebrate our differences like black people exist why is it a problem I like why is it a problem <laughs> I just don't understand I can't fathom it but one thing I am taking away from this whole situation is don't come for Jeffree Star unless your proof is ironclad and your receipts are bulletproof because he's ending careers left, right and centre. One thing I do agree with Thomas Howard has said in the past is that he doesn't believe in this whole YouTube hierarchy malarkey and I am completely on board with that because it's just very plain to see that the people who are at the top of this whole beauty community influencer situation they're not the people that we see on screen and I don't expect them to be like I don't expect them to put their entire lives out there because when you come on camera you come yes you're supposed to come as you are I would hope um, but you don't know everything about everybody going back to one thing that I was supposed to touch on what we didn't know that we do now know uh, Thomas did say he made like an open letter and he was like he's sorry about the things that have come out in the past 24 hours and he did grow up in a very racist environment with a racist family who felt like it being racist is perfectly okay i didn't know that considering how how hard he used to go for not supporting racists and stuff so can i believe that he said the n-word in that text most most probably most probably but i don't know for certain that that is legit but it just goes to show you don't know everybody's past you don't know what people do after they turn the camera off we don't know what people are doing in their lives and what they really stand for and whether or not they're just doing it so that they can appease their subscribers by the end of the day it just goes to show that people are not everything that you think that they are just because they come on the camera and I think that's something that we just have to keep in mind and we have to kind of be careful of who we support tell me what you think of this situation so far down below I think that there's going to be a lot more that comes out <laughs> But it's just a sad situation. Sound off in the comments down below. See you in the next one. Bye.